Well, more than 60 years ago, a baseball game was played between these two teams. It didn't matter who won, but just that the game was played. It was the first integrated Little League baseball game in the South, and it was played right here in Orlando. And today, some of the original players reunite to remember this moment in history. News 6's Sashel Saunders was there for the historic reunion. 63 years ago, two Little League teams confronted racism and hate and chose the opposite. Today, they're celebrated for breaking barriers. We just wanted to play baseball. It had been told us, well, you know, you all are making history. But to a group of 11 and 12 year olds, we, we just wanted to play. In 1955, despite their batting skills, the Pensacola JCs weren't welcome many places. It angered me. But then something special happens. And if we can integrate baseball, then we can integrate America. It's chronicled in a new documentary, Long Time Coming, the all-white Orlando Kiwanis said yes to changing baseball into cities forever. We could all feel that emotion building up in us. We knew something very special was going to happen. And as we reached out to shake hands, we just embraced one another. Today, they embraced again. Cheered on, fittingly so, by a community no longer completely separated by black and white. Woo! Given keys to the city by the mayor and the day proclaimed Barrier Breaker Day. For this opportunity to honor the men from the Pensacola JCs and the Orlando Kiwanis teams as true barrier busters. All because of the bravery of children. The closer we got to them, I started feeling something. Reporting in Orlando. You could feel the love of God going through each and every player. Sashel Saunders, News 6.